the three small spears shown in figure carry charges q1 is equal to 4 nano coulomb q2 is equal to minus 7.8 nano coulomb and q3 is equal to 2.4 nano coulomb find the net electric flux through each of the following closed surface shown in cross section in the figure a s1 b s2 c s3 d s4 e s5 f do you answers to part a to e depend on how to the charge is distributed over each small spheres why or why not let us consider given the values the charges q1 is equal to 4 nano coulomb 1 nano coulomb is equal to 10 to the power of minus 9 coulombs so 4 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulombs and q2 is equal to the charge q2 is equal to minus 7.8 nano coulomb that is equal to minus 7.8 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb and the charge q3 is equal to 2.4 nano coulomb that is equal to 2.4 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb first of all we can calculate the, the electric flux through them each surfaces so according to the gauss law the flux through the surface phi is equal to the flux through the surface phi is equal to the total charged enclosed surface by epsilon naught the total charge enclosed in the surface by epsilon naught this gives to the flux in the surface or flux through the surface first of all let us take the surface s1 let us take part a surface s1 this is the surface s1 in the surface the total charge inclined in the surface is q1 the total charge inclined in the surface s1 is, is equal to q1 because in the surface the total charge is only inside the surface is the q1 so charge inclined in the surface is q inclined is equal to q1 so the electric flux in the surface phi s1 is equal to inclined charge is the q1 q1 by epsilon naught so that is equal to phi s1 is equal to the charge is the q1 q1 is equal to 4 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb whole by the value of the epsilon naught is the 8.85 5 into 10 to the power of minus 12 coulomb square by newton meter square so the flux in the surface s1 is the phi s1 is equal to the flux is surface s1 is phi s1 is equal to 4 5 2 newton meter square per coulomb this is the flux through the surface s1 this is the flux through the surface s1 and consider the another surface part b s2 the charge in the surface s2 is the charge in the surface s2 is only inside the surface s2 the charge q inclined is equal to only charge q2 only the charge in the surface s2 is q2 because the charge only q2 charge inside the surface so the flux through the surface s2 is the phi s2 is equal to q2 by epsilon naught that is equal to the value of the q2 is phi s2 is equal to the charge q2 is equal to minus 7.8 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb whole by epsilon naught is the 8.85 into 10 to the power of minus 12 coulomb square by newton meter square so the flux at the surface s2 is equal to 
the flux at the surface S2 is equal to minus 8, 81 Newton meter square per coulomb. This is the flux through the surface S2. This is the flux through the surface S2. And consider the part B, part C. Consider the part C. The flux, the surface S2. We can calculate the surface S3. Part C is the, the flux through the surface S3. The surface S3, in the surface S3, the total charge in the surface S3 is the Q inclined. Q inclined is equal to the total charge inside the surface S3 is the Q1 plus Q2. Q1 plus Q2, where Q1 plus Q2 is the inside the surface of the S2, S3. So, the charge Q inclined is equal to Q1 plus Q2. So, the flux through the surface S3 is the F S3. F S3 is the Q1 plus Q2 by epsilon naught. So, the flux F S3 is equal to where Q1 is the 4 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb. Q2 is the minus 7.8 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb whole by the value of the epsilon naught is the 8.85 into 10 to the power of minus 12 coulomb square by newton meter square so the flux through the surface s3 is f s3 is equal to minus 429 Newton meter square per coulomb. This is the flux through the surface S3. And we can calculate at the part D. We can calculate at the part D. The flux through the surface S4. The flux through the surface S4. The charge inclined in the surface S4. The charge inclined in the surface S4 is the Q1 plus Q3. In the surface S4, the total charge inside the surface S4 is the Q1 plus Q2 charges. So, the flux through the surface S4 is the phi S4 is equal to Q1 plus Q3 by epsilon naught. So, the flux S4 is equal to Q1 is the 4 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb and Q3 is the 2.4 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb whole by epsilon it is the 8.85 into 10 to the power of minus 12 coulomb square by newton meter square. So the flux through the surface, the flux through the surface S4 is the 723 Newton meter square per coulomb. So this is the flux through the surface S4. And finally cal calculated the, the flux through the surface S5. E the flux through the surface S5. The charge inclined in the surface S5 is the, the inclined charge Q inclined is equal to the three charges are inside the surface S5. So, the charge inclined is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. These two, three charges are inside the surface S5. So, the flux through the surface S5 is phi S5 is equal to Q, the total charge in our inclined charge Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 whole by epsilon naught. So the flux phi S5 is equal to Q1 is the 4 minus Q2 is the 7.8 and Q3 is the 2.4 plus 2.4 into the value of the 
n coulomb is 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb whole by the value of the epsilon naught is the 8.85 into 10 to the power of minus 12 coulomb square by newton meter square so the flux through the surface s5 is the 5 s5 is equal to the flux through the surface s5 is equal to minus 158 newton meter square per coulomb this is the flux through the surface s5 in the flux the flux the flux is negative sign indicates the the flux inside the surface the flux through the surface inside the, the into the surface is taken to the negative the flux through the out of the surface or out to the surface is taken to the positive so the negative sign indicates the the flux is in into the surface the positive sign is indicated the the flux out to the surface part d part f all all that matters of gas loss is in the total amount of charge enclosed by the surface not is distributed within the surface 